Open up the cages, boys. Show these newbies what we call this ball. Two step, two step, two step, two step, two step, two step, two step. Bright lights keep you swinging. Feels like looking in a magazine. Hello, I'm Shani Vincent. And I'm Rick Malambri, and you're watching Stu TV. Check out Step Up 3D out in Cinnamon's August. If you ever need a guy, a partner for a week, you pull in my direction and just come and follow me. We'll meet up on the floor and maybe do the twerk. So show me what you got in terms of fancy food. Ik had wel ook heel veel ritme vroeger, maar het was allemaal een beetje. Allemaal een beetje wild en uh, ik weet nog dat ik, mijn vader zei altijd dat ik met mijn zusje stond te dansen en dan sloeg ik ze echt met mijn armen. Ik heb heel veel audits gedaan, was tot de laatste ronde gekomen. Nee. Tot de laatste ronde, zijn praatjes. Nee, nee, ik ben best wel, ja ik weet dus, ik ken dit soort films niet, maar volgens mij is het wel heel vet. Toch? Het is nou niet eigenlijk jouw droom om zeg maar zo'n film te produceren? Ja, dit lijkt me geweldig om te doen. Ja, het is een, uh, een spektakel en er zit zoveel techniek in en er is, uh, wordt met zo'n enorme precisie gewerkt. Dat ik uh, heel benieuwd ben hoe het eruit ziet, maar ik zou het wel willen maken een keer. Kun je daar een paar mooie moves mee maken? Oké, okay, maar dan neem ik wel heel veel risico. Het is een live auditie, hè? Just that's it, weet je. Anders moet je betalen gewoon. Ja, sorry. Nee, dat is genoeg. Dit is een goede auditie. Misschien uh, doen we er wat mee. Top. Ja? Top, high five. Well, we both grew up dancing. Um, it's always been a part of our lives. And then we, we, I guess we kind of transformed into the acting aspect of entertainment. And um, I know Sharni's been doing this a while. I've only been doing the acting for about four years now. Uh, and I moved out to LA four years ago and really put myself through classes and things like that and, and just kind of honed in on the whole craft and then started going out for auditions. And, I was on a show in Australia called Home and Away for three years um, and a few people around the world know me as Cassie from that show. <laughs> uh, so in that respect that was, I will always consider Home and Away my first break and um, I will consider Step Up 3D my big break, um, hopefully. Everything was choreographed. Like the routines that you're watching were five weeks of rehearsals in order to create that, you know, and then fine tuning later as well. And um, yeah, no, uh, everything you're seeing was hard work paying off. <laughs> it, nothing was really made up when it comes to the dancing. Um. The continuing process from the get go of the, the pre production. I mean, we had, like Sharni said, we had five weeks of training and then we continued personal training as well as uh, fine tuning these, these uh, skills scenes that we had to do. Yeah, yeah, skills. And um, it was definitely not a, a like, okay, throw it together and <laughs> work something out and, and yeah. you guys put something together. It was, it was literally a boot camp at first to, to really get down what they wanted us to do. And, then we would put something together and show the, the producers and the director what they what we had together and if they wanted that or what else they wanted to add to it, things like that. dancing for, from a very, very, very young age and, uh, and hadn't been dancing for a while. I'd just been acting for a few years before the audition came up and uh, this was the perfect opportunity to combine the two and show everybody that I dance as well. Why 3D? Well, you know, we always talk about the framing of the dance, not just with the choreography within the frame, but of the frame itself. And with 3D, you get to make the audience be a part of the dance themselves. It becomes a duet where the audience gets immersed in the battles. Like, 
It's not on a stage, it's not like on a big screen. You're inside the battle, and I think that's really fun for dance and really fun for teenagers all around the world. I feel like we're our, our own worst critics, and uh, it's it's a little awkward, but um, it's cool to see ourselves in, in 3D. I think it's a, a really cool feeling and uh, I'm really excited to watch it. It's like, it's like you're on a, a roller coaster, but with dance everywhere. It's like, uh, uh, if, <laughs> what is it like? It's like Pirates of the Caribbean ride, but with dance. Shooting in 3D is, is the same as pretty much shooting a 2D film, except for the, the process of setting everything up, because the lighting has to be different. Um, you also have different, you're working with different cameras, because these cameras have two cameras in one, and one straight down and one goes out, and then there's a 45 degree angled lens, like a, like a mirror lens that converges these two cameras and creates that depth. So they have to set that up and make sure that everything looks the correct like depth of how you're going to see it in 3D. But uh, filming it, no, it's, it's pretty much the same as if you were to shoot a regular film. Welcome to my house. Think of a house as like a super crew. Dancers work together, live together, battle together. It's crazy, right? This place is incredible. Check this. It's the biggest battle ever. You up for a little competition? I never lose. Some people learn to dance, others are born to. People dance because dance can change things. One move can bring people together. One move can make you believe like you're something more. One move can set a whole generation free. We should get to rehearsal. That's so sick! Yeah.